Hello and good morning, everyone. We begin today's class. I request Stacy to sing the prayer. Santa Mary, a povilum, to the uh, next chapter which is uh, titled crazy writing that is to that is also known as summarizing or you might have also learned it as uh, condensation in while studying shorthand so this is the topic for today that is crazy writing so the uh, as the title suggests it is uh, it is a, a process of summarizing and it is the word is pronounced as crazy. It is not pussy, it is crazy. This is how it is pronounced. And uh, you can see that the uh, word is not an English word. How do you identify that it is not an English word? It is actually a French word. You can see the uh, diacritic mark. There is a mark. A diacritic that mark on top of a letter it is not something that you see in uh, English letters mark uh, that is called a, a diacritic mark that is the mark it is not a, a feature of the English language it is a feature of other languages like French this is actually a word that has come into English from French in French it means a summary so, crazy is uh, a summary. So, what is, a, what is it a summary of? It can be a summary of uh, a passage. It can be a summary of a speech given by somebody. So that uh, you are able to understand the idea, the whole idea in a nutshell. That is the idea of writing and reading a crazy. You don't have to go through the entire speech or you don't have to go through the entire essay that has been written by someone. You just can refer to the main points and you understand uh, what it is. So that is the benefit of a crazy. So it is it is just a short summary. It is, it is not a paraphrase. Paraphrase means uh, saying something in your own words. Paraphrasing means uh, to say to say in different words that is paraphrasing but crazy is not a paraphrasing you are not saying the same thing in different words you are actually reducing it you are actually reducing the content and then you are speaking it so uh, para what is the difference the difference is that the paraphrase and the praise uh, are different in their length. The paraphrase may be always almost the same length as the original passage. 
but what is the difference in the length of the prasi? How long is a prasi when compared to the original passage? <clears throat> what is the length of a prasi when compared to an original passage? Or how much is the prasi in comparison to the original passage? Anybody can tell? You can respond. Exactly, Sajid, that is one third of the original. It should be one third of the original. That is, if the uh, the original passage has, uh, yes, yes, Anjali Maya. Yes, so if the original passage has uh, 30 uh, sentences, the praise will have just 10 sentences. Okay, so that is how praises are um, prepared. It should be one third of the original. So that, so it requires just uh, one third time also to read and go through a praise. So that is the format in which praise is written. And that is the major difference between a praise and a paragraph. And the next peculiarity of a praise is that uh, it only gives the heart of a passage. That is the main theme of the passage. It's only mentioned in the praise. Other, uh, uh, other details, other irrelevant details uh, are omitted are removed okay so there those things uh, omit means to remove so uh, what is omitted omitted i mean uh, the e extra details are omitted that is uh, examples illustrations only the idea is retained examples uh, illustrations adjectives there may also be some ideas which are repeated so repetitions are also removed in a crazy so uh, this is the idea so it should give only the heart of the passage so that is how praises are written and then the next peculiarity is that uh praise uh, is uh, in the it is written in the third person point of view suppose it is a speech you don't, uh, so sir, when, they, when I give the speech, I say, uh, my opinion is that, like that we will say. But uh, when you paraphrase it, when you write it as a phrase, you are writing it in your own point of view. So the, you say that the speaker says. Okay, so that is the next peculiarity of a phrase. It is written in the words of the person writing it, not in the words of the original selection. So the 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 point of view the, that is called a point of view. The point of view is uh, always third person. What is a third person? You say that he, she, they, or the writer, etc. In the original passage, it may be I. Then you can change it. If the original passage is also the third person point of view, then there is no need to change anything. But suppose the original passage, usually when it's a speech and you are given, usually that's what we get to uh, condense when you are writing a shorthand paper. So uh, when you write a speech, it is usually given in the first person point of view. You can uh, rewrite the, it as a praise when you in the third person point of view. That is the next peculiarity of the praise. This is a, actually a contradiction of what it is said. Uh, this is not the way we write. We write in this way. This is the way we have to follow. Uh, this is actually the other the paragraph after that is not the point of view that we use. We have to rewrite it in the uh, third person point of view. So the, this is another view. This is not the view that we are following. This is not the view for that we follow. So. We can say that the speaker says, point of view this, 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 this is the point of view that we are following. Okay. So these are two different ideas. These two ideas are conflicting. So the highlighted uh, idea in the screen that you see, that is the way we write the racy. 
okay now i am highlighting this idea which is given after that this is not the way we write ingane alla ezhudundathu so we have to first person point of view aanengile ee parna pole this author says nu parna thaniyana nammal ezhudundathu the author says enu thaniyana ezhudundathu so that is that is why we uh, i am saying that this point this highlighted point of highlight cheyittullathu alla nammal follow cheyna system okay ah uh, okay then we have the process of writing the phrase before we come to the process of writing the phrase we uh, need to understand what what is it just we will uh, learn as some points what is a what is a phrase it is a, a shortened form of a passage it is a miniature replication of the original passage it is a you are uh, trying to reduce the passage into uh, one third of the original so it is also called condensation adondana next point says that it is condensing condensing a passage into the original so it is also called condensation and it should be as brief as possible so there are three qualities uh, we always speak about when writing uh, it is uh, of state of being clear and uh, it is the state of being brief okay so clarity and brevity they are very important qualities that we require and uh, so that is the last point a phrase must briefly cover all the ideas stated in the passage what is the use of a phrase so when you use uh, when you talk about the use of a phrase you can say that it is helpful in understanding the a chapter a book a speech better when you have written it as short points so the reader is able to understand the ideas better because he he or she does not have to go through a large chunk of information she or he is able to go through a very short passage and understand the whole text that's the benefit then the next benefit is that it helps in concentrating uh in a smaller matter better when you, rather than when you have a large amount of matter to be read and it also improves your writing skills you become a uh, expert in understanding comprehending an idea and transcribing and translating it in your own words you become able to comprehend it helps in this ability of comprehending passages so that is that is also called passage comprehension this ability is enhanced increased when you practice phrase writing so phrase writing is a very important skill that everybody needs to practice so the main thing that we have to remember is that it is it is concise this concise means it is short it is clear and must make a connected whole so it should not be a uh, uh, separate sentences we should connect these and when we write the phrase also we should connect the sentences together by using some linkers or connectors or sentence markers etc and it should be a readable whole just not pieces of sentences nammal avadnu ullakku kore sentence edi vekkiyalla you are trying to connect it together and make it as readable as possible so that is what we uh, do in a phrase so next we have the process of writing the basic there okay, so process of writing the uh, pc is that we have to first read the passage okay so raise uh, edan or passage kitte odane edan thodangalla so you don't immediately start writing the phrase how do you read how how many times should you read a, the passage before you start writing how many times should you read the passage before you start writing three times okay so that is a, a normal number of times that uh, some people may have to read it three times some people may have to read it four times usually it is three times uh, to, when you have the first reading you get a general idea of what it is and then you get a uh, make a second reading then you become more familiar three and uh, 
but some people may not be even uh, uh, comprehending the idea even after reading three times. Then you will have to read as many times as possible. But I'm going to fix the three. We have to read as many times as it is necessary. It is not a problem. You have to read as many times as is required so that you understand, comprehend the passage better. So un keep on reading until we understand the passage. So the first step is to start reading and uh, read as many times as possible. And do we write immediately? Do we write immediately the pricey once you have started reading and uh, read it three times? Final draft. Do we write the final draft immediately? After reading it three times, do we do we write the final draft immediately? No. We don't write it immediately. We write what is called the which is called the rough draft. This is what we write first. So the most of the thing, most of the students, what they forget is that they they may write the rough draft but they will forget to put the title. So even with the rough draft, you have to put a title and begin. So you will not forget it in the final draft also. Even the rough draft should have a title. So title is a very important aspect of the phrase. The original passage may not have a title. We have the original passage in the title. The title is the Only when you read and understand the passage, you understand what the passage is about. When you understand what the passage is about, you are able to give a title. So you can give a title. So once you give a title, then you start writing the rough draft. How long should be the rough draft? We already said in the beginning that the final draft should be one third of the original. So how long should be the rough draft? Rough draft can be a little longer. One third avanda. Rough draft can be. How long can be the rough draft? Yes, Sajida, half of the original. So if the original sentence says 30 sentences, the rough draft can have 15 sentences. And the final draft should be one third of the original. So the final draft will have 10 sentences. So that is the length of the uh, rough draft and the final draft and how do you do that do I just remove the 15 some random 15 sentences and rewrite it and then in uh, so I, now I have 15 sentences in the rough draft so again I uh, take away five more sentences from the rough draft and write it as the final draft can it be done it cannot be done like that I'm gonna sentences you actually read and understand and write in your own words in a shortened form so it is not removing uh, sentences as such or you're removing words as such you actually have to read and uh, you have to understand you have to understand the main points and then start summarizing okay that is uh, so understanding the writer's main point is very important and then is to write it in your own words as short as possible so, and then you revise it. So in the final draft, you revise your writing. So this is the next step. So once you have written half of the original, then you start revising it uh, so that it can be reduced into further into one third of the original. Usually in the original passages, the number of words that it has is given. For example, it may be written that uh, the passage has 120 words. So 120 words, if the passage has 120 words, you can reduce it into 60 words in the first draft, the rough draft. 
and in the final draft you can reduce it into say 40 words because 40 is one third of original so that is how we reduce it how reduction doesn't mean that you are throwing away certain sentences or words you are actually uh, um, throwing away only repetitions or unnecessary ideas which are not related to the main theme of the assets you can what are, what are the things you can remove you can remove examples illustrations repetitions etc okay the next idea is what will you do if you find that the what you have written is uh, very long okay so suppose you see that your pricey that you have written is too long well, we have to write uh, 40 words okay uh, if the original is 120 words my final draft has uh, uh, has to be 40 words but when i have written it has come to 60 words that is almost half of the original so it is not exactly one third it can have for 40 words for 45 but it should not be 60 60 i have half of the original life so that is not the idea when you write a phrase it should not be half of the original it should be one third of the original but not exactly the uh, one third number above nooru aakkulla oru passage anengile adinde one third nu parayunnathu 33.3333 aanu angane namukku edan pattillallo so if there are 100 words in a passage you can have 30 to 40 words in the final draft so it is not an exact number that we are looking for we are actually looking for a proper condensation proper reduction in the uh, size of the subject matter it's the size of the uh, written matter that is what the examiners will be looking for you are not actually the examiners will not start counting the number of words and see whether you have maintained an exact one third so that is also something we can um, uh, be feeling relaxed about you should not be too much worried about uh, but it should not be too long also it should not be half of the original it should be somewhere close to the one third of the original somewhere near one third of the original so that is the idea when we write the crazy so uh, you have to so as i say we will repeat those ideas we have to read as many times as possible to understand the passage don't forget to give a title or heading and the title or heading should be it should be related to the uh, the idea discussed in the passage it should reflect the theme of the passage and unnecessary details like examples, illustrations, or some comments, etc., can be avoided. Only the necessary points, the main ideas discussed, should be given so that the uh, the final draft come becomes one third of the original. So it is always preferable to avoid words. And sentences don't lift the words that are are given in the original passage original passage the words and sentences copy chain is not good we have to write in our own words you can use simpler words also most of the words that the speaker may be using may be very complex words we can use simple words to express the same idea better so that is the idea you have to use different words don't repeat the words that are used by the authors and avoid words like in my opinion i believe that etc so it is not a, a venue for expressing our own opinion whatever idea is there in the original passage should be retained you should not add anything to the place but number the ideas express the and like essay writing competition if this is uh, whatever idea is there in the original passage you have to be faithful to that. You may not agree to those things. You may have a different opinion, but th those things cannot be expressed in the uh, praise that you write. Praise is uh, has to be faithful to the ideas expressed in the original passage. So simplicity. Uh, uh, so the I repeat it again: simplicity, uh, clarity, and brevity. So these are the three things we have to always remember when we write the crazy and it, it should be written in unambiguous language ambiguous means unclear unambiguous means clear clarity 
അതൊരു സംശയം വരരുത് വായിക്കുന്നവർക്ക് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി വെരി ക്ലിയർ അൺ ആൻഡിഗ്വസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി റിട്ടൺ ഇൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടെൻസ് ഇൻ ഡയറക്റ്റ് സ്പീച്ച് ആൻഡ് തേർഡ് പേഴ്സൺ ഓക്കെ സോ ഇഫ് ദർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് പേഴ്സൺ ഇഫ് ദ സ്പീക്കർ സെയ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ബിലീവ് സോ ദ സ്പീക്കർ ബിലീവ്സ് ദ ഓദർ ബിലീവ്സ് ഇപ്പൊ സ്പീച്ച് ആണെങ്കിൽ ദ സ്പീക്കർ ബിലീവ്സ് റൈറ്റിംഗ് ആണെങ്കിൽ ദ ഓദർ ബിലീവ്സ് So, we have to always convert it into the third person point of view. First person point of view, we have to write it. Even if the original passage is in the first person point of view, we have to rewrite it in the third person point of view. We have to compare the draft to the original passage. Check whether the ideas have been covered. You should not leave out any points also. Uh, condensing the passage does not mean removing the main points. The main point should be... Retained, unnecessary details can be avoided. So, if there is a main point, there is an unnecessary point, then we have to make a decision. Uh, you know, in the shorthand book, the mosquito menace, the mosquito problem in Kochi, there is a passage. If you go through that condensation, condensation passages in the book, there is no doubt. Do you have such a book on uh, shorthand in that? Condensation is not a book. Sir, condensation in the passages is not a book. Mrs. Speed is not a book. Yes, that's it. 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 Uh, something like this so this is such a passage i had gone through such a passage i don't know whether you have seen this but uh, there there, uh, there are most problems of mosquitoes in uh, cochin because just because of the uh, the choking of drains so mosquitoes are of different kinds there are uh, small mosquitoes large mosquitoes naga parane chera sentences now we can avoid that we this is not a study on mosquitoes this is a study of the problem of mosquitoes in cochin so we have to decide which are the ideas we should avoid which are the ideas we should include mosquitoes in a kurchulla studies anengil we can have mosquito uh, small mosquitoes large mosquitoes medium size mosquitoes naga parnjulla ideas namu include cheyam but this is not a study on mosquitoes this is a study of the problems of mosquitoes in the city so uh, we have to decide which are the ideas which we can include which are the ideas we should remove and we should why do we have to remove we should remove because we have to reduce it it should be one third of the original and early varumbo there can be some errors grammatical errors you should avoid such errors spelling errors you have to check for that draft le thanne first draft le thanne adakku ond check cheyittu venam final draft like varanayittu so the uh, in the final draft there should be minimum correction adile ezhidhinte moli kuda ezhudunnadakke it should be avoided as much as possible in the final draft if you want to make such corrections all such corrections can be made in the first draft the final draft should be free from errors it should be free from corrections also and when you write the final draft also you should not forget to give the title because that is why i said in, even in the uh, first draft uh, we have to give a title so this is Uh, an example which they have given there we will uh, discuss that example later we will come to what we have to remember we have to write the final draft and give a title or anything so the title is very important the title uh, the is usually forgotten by uh, students that is why i say that we have to always remember to uh, give the title this is something which is just usually forgotten by all students so even when you write the rough draft start by putting a giving a title so uh, avoid errors etc so there is an there is a pricey which is given here just to read it please read this uh, pricey which is given here
Okay, what is the author speaking about? What are the major idea discussed in it? Yes. Yes. The need for cultivation, the need for food. That is in the second paragraph. What is the first paragraph about? Second paragraph. What is the first paragraph about? Population. So these are the two ideas, major ideas. So the two ideas which we have title on the So the one is a first paragraph is about the increasing population. Second paragraph is about the abalkari and angodumba. The third is a problem of food. So how to produce more food? If you have more people, number of little end bearer doing that time, choru vechaadi. Patti bearer and angile, that time choru vechila. You have to have more food. So uh, when the population increases, the food production has to increase. So you can give a title like that. You can uh, uh, give a title, uh, increase in population and need for food production. So that is how you find out a title. So once you give a title, you can, uh, what is the importance of giving the title? Once you give the title, when even every sentence that you write, you can check whether this will match with the uh, the original passage. Original passage is very important. So these are the two ideas that are discussed here. That is uh, world population and food production. So you can also title the title increase in population and lack of food. You can give any title. The the I think the challenges of uh, the challenges of population. So you can be you can be creative in giving titles. World production and food production, uh, world population and food production. No, the challenges of population. No, the major challenge of population. The major challenge of population is the lack of food. So how to uh, solve the problem? So if you look at this uh, passage. Many ideas, many examples are which are given in the original passage are avoided. New types of seeds, food produce uh, new types of seeds we can avoid. So this 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 is a very direct to final passage. Rough draft easy to final draft. This is already a final draft. Either original and one third I already a final draft. But when we write, we can uh, reduce it. But the details of the Kalambatilla. Either Kalambatta, the world population increase, either the total increase, you cannot reduce. So that is why the first sentence is 2000 to 3000 million. So that is that idea is given, but the longer sentences are. Joined together and reduced into one sentence. So for the problem of population is mentioned. Then the problem of population is in cities. So that is also mentioned in the next paragraph. Then uh, the other uh, day first paragraph in a discussion going. So the first paragraph of Muruvan, you would have end sentence le some Okay, so these two ideas, these uh, the entire first paragraph has been reduced into two sentences. Now you can see the second paragraph and the, uh, the next part of the final draft together. Here, what they have done is the the whole of this paragraph has been made the rest of the two sentences. Okay, so scientists are finding out ways to. Uh, produce more food by doing some research in agriculture. So that is the idea in this paragraph. But in the details, we by using land. the description. That is the original passage. 
പലപ്പോഴും നമ്മൾ എക്സാംസിലുള്ള പേപ്പേഴ്സ് കാണുമ്പോൾ വാട്ട് വി സീ ഇൻ ദ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ പേപ്പേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഹാവ് ജസ്റ്റ് കോപ്പി ഡൗൺ ദ പാസേജ് ഫ്രം ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പേപ്പർ യു വിൽ നോട്ട് ഗെറ്റ് എനി മാർക്സ് ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ബട്ട് ഒരു ടൈറ്റിൽ കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ടാവും പക്ഷേ പാസേജ് മിക്കവാറും ആ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പേപ്പറിലുള്ളത് അങ്ങനെ തന്നെ പകർത്തി വെച്ചിരിക്കും അതിനെ അത് പകർത്തി വെക്കാത്തതാണെങ്കിലും ദ മേ ഹാവ് റിട്ടേൺ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് ദ സെയിം ലെങ്ത് ആസ് ദി ഒറിജിനൽ പാസേജ് ദിസ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് സംതിങ് വിച്ച് യു ഷുഡ് ഡു സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വൈ വി ഷുഡ് അവോയ്ഡ് So, how can you reduce? You can reduce by omitting unnecessary details. So, what are the unnecessary details that we have here? Unnecessary means giving examples, illustrations. If you have examples, you can see that the examples that are avoided is that unused land cultivation chain. That's what we have to say. We can say that use more land and also new methods of food production appo new methods of food production le ellam ulpettu endakka ulpettu new methods of food production nu ivada parnjittille so this is new methods of food production and many new strains of paddy paddy and wheat many new strains of paddy and wheat nullathu adu original sentence la aanu appo chaladakka namukku original sentence la ulla original passage la retain cheyam chaladu namukku fresh aayittu edam so uh, new methods so new strains of paddy and wheat is talking about the seeds the new the seeds uh, production of uh, new varieties of seeds and new methods can be to cultivate land which is not used apa unused land cultivate cheyanam nalla it has not been repeated in the final passage so this is how we reduce it so you, it may not be possible to write a passage like this in the first step itself that is why we write a first draft or a rough draft so when we write a rough draft we have to give a title we have to give a title that this is the rough draft so uh, and after the rough draft you give the title rough draft then title then write the passage in half of original then so that is uh, one one step is now complete then you give the next title this is called final draft then again you can even modify the title once you write the first first draft you can give a modification of the title if you want to change the title and then you write the passage in one third of original so the these are the steps by which we there are uh, some more examples which are given here and go through those examples okay so so the important points are we have to uh, re- reduce the passage into one third of the original so the steps steps in doing it is first you have to read the passage read the passage as many times as is required to understand to comprehend the idea that is given in the passage then you reduce the passage into half of the original and when you reduce the uh, uh, passage into half of the original you leave out extra details which are given there which are not relevant uh, or which can be condensed into one single sentence oru oru kaaryangale namukku oru otta sentence le kondu varan pattum so you try doing it in the second draft even if the second draft is almost one third of the original then it is also fine second half to kritiyam half of the original avanamilla it can even be lesser but it is uh, not preferable if it is larger then it is again difficult to condense so condense as much as possible but the only thing is the main idea adil povadha that's the important thing the main idea should remain but all other are relevant irrelevant details that is or details which are not relevant to the main idea can be removed so that uh, brings us to the half of the original passage so the major step is done then you again reduce it into one third so if if uh, the original passage has 100 words the first draft can have or the rough draft can have 50 words and uh, the final draft can have 32 40 words okay uh, so i think the 
PPT is not visible. Can you see now? Ah, okay. So, uh, unnecessary illustrations, unnecessary examples, all these things can be removed. And this rough draft should be, uh, you can, uh, rough draft can be a little larger, no problem, because we are always focusing on the final draft. So, rough draft and the rhythm, it has got marks. Direct to final draft is on, but to England, you have to edit a final draft is on part low. And it should always be written in the third person point of view the clarity, brevity, and simplicity. These three things are important in a, uh, in a crazy writing. So, uh, the when you under uh, when you have finished writing the final draft, you should not forget to give a title or heading. So, that's it. Uh, any questions, any doubts? Okay, so I think we, since we have completed the topics, we will stop for today. Thank you for joining. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank you, sir.